Dr. Limoncello, we did talk about um, sleep apnea and the bad effects of sleep apnea. Basically, people who snore, at least most people who snore, stop breathing and by doing so, uh, uh, get deprived of uh, two things, sleep. Apparently, there's a study out there where people who sleep six, seven hours really only sleep a couple hours, and those are not even the heavy, heavy cases. They're still considered relatively mild. Um, and at the same token, they stop breathing uh, up to 10, 20, 30 times an hour sometimes, and uh, sometimes up to a minute and more, and that is also oxygen depriving. You couple those two things, people literally get neurotic. Uh, people fall asleep in the afternoon, uh, have car accidents, um, and just basically have a much more lifeless life than they could have. Um, how much of that uh, have you observed, and what is your input on that? I've observed that a lot, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I got interested in uh, uh, sleep medicine. Um, it's important to get a good night's sleep, a good night's rest, without any interruptions. Um, patients that uh, have obstructive sleep apnea where the airway is occluded, uh, during a snoring in the uh, uh, time when they're supposed to be resting and sleeping uh, actually deprive their body of oxygen. Um, when they awaken in the morning, a lot of them are still tired. Uh, this carries out throughout the course of the day. Uh, they nod off uh, during uh, different activities. Sometimes they can nod off while reading or uh, looking at television, and in the more severe cases, they can actually nod off when they're driving their car, uh, which uh, can be fatal. Right. Uh, so it's a, it's a very real and a very important thing. Um, the uh, CPAP machines that are used uh, uh, widely to treat this is disorder uh, are machines that can be monitored. They have a little uh, card in there that uh, can go into a computer that their uh, physician has so the physician can monitor if they're using the machines. Uh, in the future, uh, the monitoring can be extended uh, to go to employers for uh, 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 employees of truck companies uh, to find out uh, if these uh, people are getting their proper sleep at night, if they're using their machine, and if they're not, they shouldn't be driving the next day. Uh, so it can af affect their livelihood. Uh, but it's a very important thing uh, to get that proper sleep without any interruption or oxygen deprivation uh, from uh, actual apnea or breathing being stopped. You mentioned the word uh, apnea here. We, we say sleep apnea, and I think we know what we mean by it. Anyway, you don't sleep. But can you tell us what the word apnea really means? Apnea means uh, uh, when the breathing stops. So ap apnea it means is... Stop breathing. It means stop. It, does it physically mean stop breathing or just stop? Yes. I mean. the, the patient actually stops breathing for breathing. a while. Okay. Once the uh, tongue occludes the airway mm -hmm. and there's no air being exchanged, the patient is not breathing at right. all. Okay. So now... Uh, eventually they'll overcome that and they'll, they'll start breathing again. Right. But for a time they won't. Right. And as you mentioned before, uh, it can happen a few times in an hour. It can happen a few times in a night. It, uh, it depends. And that's why a sleep study should be done uh, where they can actually determine for how long and how many times this happens. Mm. And then they can determine what category the patient falls into uh, and what type of appliance they'd be best suited for. Right. Uh, but by what type of appliance? So there is the CPAP machine, which pumps oxygen into, into, into you. And apparently it pumps room air. It pumps room air. It, it pumps yeah, it's room not room. oxygen. It's room okay. air okay. That's, bubbled through a, that's bubbled through water to uh, humidify it okay. so that the air passages don't dry out. I got it. Uh, and they breathe that over uh, through a mask while they're sleeping overnight. Uh, the other appliance is a oral appliance, which looks uh, similar to... Uh, a sports mouth guard. Okay. Uh, it, uh, it's confined to the inside of the mouth, and uh, for patients where their uh, bed partners uh, object to having that uh, noisy thing with the mask on overnight, uh, 
almost no one knows that they're wearing this thing because yeah. when they are when their lips are closed you can hardly see it mm. well you said that the bad part not check to the noise i have heard that the people wearing it are the ones who are actually suffering and they are the one who cannot stand it because they cannot toss this And, there's and a lot of uh, very uncomfortable and by doing so have a very very low uh, compliance rate with that um, uh, uh, mask yeah that's very true that's very true a lot of them don't like it and and won't use it but not with the uh, with the appliance uh, a dentist makes that, that no one, there's there's uh, one there's one very one. few uh, that uh, are non-compliant with the dental appliance because even with the ones that have gone through the CPAP machine first they find that the dental appliance is yes. is much better <laughs> much better expose it to the to the to the severe uncomfortable thing and then and then get a kind of down but all right um so 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 it, it and and once a person starts breathing again uh, whether it's through the CPAP machine or through the uh, uh, dental appliance now um, have you noticed that people simply get more energy, that they now not fall asleep, and that they that, that their life literally looks brighter, that the, the sun shines, that the flowers have color in it again? Is that kind of how you can describe it? Uh, absolutely. Uh, almost invariably, everyone uh, says they feel a lot better the next day. The next they feel day? more energetic. Yeah, the next day. They feel a lot more energetic. It's, it's like the first good night's sleep they've had uh, in years, and they, didn't even uh, know they feel it. more energetic, and uh, it's just wonderful. They didn't even know that they didn't have a good night's sleep, I guess, before, right? A lot of them didn't. No. Yeah, and so you have more energy. So basically, we could lit we could literally say that um, you know the best afternoon booster is not an espresso, is not the Red Bull to boost your energy up, but uh, it's a trip to the dentist and uh, get yourself a sleep appliance. Yeah, and uh, there's nothing like it. It's uh, uh, for someone who has sleep apnea, that is the best thing they could do. Well, absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Um, very informative. Uh, bye, Dr. Lamicelli. Bye, bye now.